Yeah, I'm here in Johnson City, Tennessee to do a factory tour of JD Squared. Okay. I don't know how to stand or anything, you know? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you can go ahead. Okay. Hi, I'm Bob Hughes with JD Squared. Ken's nice enough to stop in and see what we're doing and check us out. And as you know, we're building plasma machines and trying very hard to take over the world. Welcome to JD Squared. Is that okay? Oh, and here's all the die sets, or parts of them. Fall bars, yeah. Thirty-two uh, uh, in Model Three ratchet levers. Um, it's usually done over here. Yeah, but I, I don't use it much anyway. And what does that uh, machine do? Uh, Blanchard grinder. Uh, it's got a big magnet on it. Pulls the metal straight and then grinds off some of the stuff. We got that on camera. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there a model 54 rotary bender, one shot 90 degree bender? With a digital readout with an auto stop. Please within a tenth of a degree. Four by eight. Indexer. Leg. And what does this actually do? Laminating. So it uh, puts that protective film on it so it lasts a little longer. First try. Let's go read the back too.
pretty huh? looks like and then they'll machine it top bottom and on the side so that's yeah. the raw piece before it gets machined we're in there. well we're going to be out of here pretty quick but yeah if you guys are throwing it up in there but yeah it'll get machine every surface on it you know everything's about you know the quality you know get it to where we want it to be all the, the, the screws and all and um but we build the heck out of them right now. Look how fast it uh, yeah. changes the cutters. Oh, yeah. I've got... ...we put down the... Um, it will put the solder down on the boards, you know, fully automatic, and then so it'll it'll come out of here. Um, where's the board, Devin? A raw board? They're all locked up. Twenty-eight thousand parts an hour. Wish thing was running. That'd be cool. But one day so early. Those boards come out of there pretty fast. Yeah. How long does it take to do a, a control board? For, how many? Four minutes for a control. has now on the sides. Yeah. 
or one of the two. Well, I'm hoping next week we have a wood router again. Tapping it right now? Yeah, it's tapping through steel. What is it, a 10 millimeter or a 12 10 millimeter? 10 millimeter tap. It's a form tap, so there's no cutting edges. It's actually compressing the metal out of the way, making the thread. The feet and then the release of the Yep. All righty. Give me gravy. Okay. All right, but, we'll take but, it from but, here. But I've got it in there as a nais. It, it, High speed cable carrier for no reason at all. We didn't need that kind of speed. But when they came in and they saw the number of machines that we were building, they kicked us to their highest OEM status, which made the price reasonable. So now we're putting on high speed covers, even though we're only moving 1,150 inches a minute. You know, the gears in it, like I tell you, they're real big. They're the same ones using like a $300,000 Messer machine, um, which makes really good machines. These are all hardened rods, but that is the attachment right there. And we've been told in our research that's the best scriber attachment in the world, regardless of machine, regardless of price. And it will actually scribe and mark with a marker with a resolution of less than half a thou. So we can do very intricate work. So as a consequence, we're selling machines to artists who are doing very intricate work because of the accuracy of the machine. They, they you know, they're not really care about cutting anything thick. They want to make little thin things and they want to engrave it and stuff like that. Now what the marker's there for is because you may want to be cutting parts out and you may want to put a part number on it, but you don't necessarily want to mark the part, you know? So what we did is we did both. I mean, if you want, I'll show you. We'll cut out a little sample piece that we do that does all three. This is the slow speed. See if the, the head moving slow? This is intermediate speed. That's 675 inches a minute. That is 175 inches a minute faster than the $28,000 torch bait. Their top speed is 500. This is full speed right here. That's 1150 right there. So you can tell that's, you know, that's much pretty. The laser, we're, we're right there, right? Now we're gonna move it back over. Let's go back to the primary head. And then let's go ahead and then, yeah, let's just see. Now we can say, I think we're gonna move it over just a little bit. Let's go to the laser. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move her over to the left right here because we're going to cut right there, right? And then we'll just say set zero. Now, if I pick the primary head, you see where the laser beam is, right? Just above the hole? Yep. Now the primary head is just above the hole. If I was to pick the scriber, now the scribe is at point zero, and now the marker's at point zero. So everything is working off offset. But right now, if I wanted to load up that little part I was talking about, we'll just go into NC, bring in the little two-cutter bracket, there's your program. Now, what you do to make our machine easy to use, and this was a big thing, people who would call with problems, and she's gonna mark, it's gonna, it's gonna mark first with a marker, and then it's gonna scribe, and then it's gonna burn. Now when it's scribed, it makes a little bit of a little noise. Um, but here you go. It's touching off, it's finding the top of the metal for the scriber. Now it's gonna make some noise. way we don't have a problem of scribers blowing up. Now she's going to cut here so you know shield your eyes a little bit if you want. Yeah, I'm, I'm walking, walking through the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to the point we can get the table out of the way out of there. But you can see how how nice the scribe is right there. Looks like to me we might have wanted to change the settings to sit maybe getting warm. One cool thing about this program, see right over here again. Yeah, their CNC plasma cutter tables are far superior to the competition. I've seen all the competition's products at trade shows many times. They also really stand behind their products like no other company. Some of these people on YouTube are getting paid to give these companies positive reviews. I'm not being paid to say this. They also make the circuit boards for their plasma cutter tables. Bob, the owner, is one of the nicest guys I've met. Their factory tour went way beyond anything I could have imagined. I want to thank them for the opportunity to do the tour. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I will be doing more welding and fabrication videos soon. Tomorrow, the video of the owner's cars will be out. I have their uh, Model 32 Bender, the electric hydraulic version that I bought a few years ago. It's in my uh, videos. I also have their uh, tube notcher.